Hey, it's Blake here from Matt Kite, and we have a request from Gui Albernaz from Brazil on how to safely launch and land your kite. And thank you, Gui. I never would have thought to make a video about this, and it's one of the simple steps that most people just kind of think past, and once you get to the riding, that's the more important part, but this is where the majority of accidents in kiteboarding happen because it's when you're on the beach and when the most can go wrong. I'm back here for video number two on how to land your kite. So it was a two part series that we're doing for you. Um, first one last week was how to launch your kite. And this week's is how to safely land your kite at the beach. So the first step in landing your kite is spatial awareness. This means understanding where you are and where your kite will land. You want to understand what's downwind of you. You don't want to land it if there's a lot of things that you can crash it on. It's better to just land it out in the water, get it wet and let it dry off than try and risk it and landing over people. Just make sure it's well beyond the distance of people, trees, buildings, or any other obstacles. One of the ways you can understand where to land your kite is, let's say you're coming into the beach, you stop at the shore, set your board down here, so you know that this is where you wanna land your kite. So walk over here, and then try and land your kite right at your board. So just have your lander standing right here at the edge of the beach, right next to your board and then you're gonna aim to land your kite right there. And that's just basically understanding the length of your lines, the damage that can be done um, anywhere downwind of you, and uh, yeah, you don't want to crash your kite downwind. Step number two is to catch someone's attention as you're coming to the beach. Just wave down someone, once you get their attention, just tap on your head, or like this, just means that you're gonna be coming in. So this is something you want to tell them before you come in. So most kiters nowadays know that signal tapping your head means that you're gonna come in. So if you're around a big group of kiters, you're no worries. But if there's someone that hasn't landed a kite before, before you go out, give them a basic rundown, like, hey, this is how you launched me, which we went over last week. And then this is how you're gonna land me. I'm just gonna come in, wave you down on the beach, tap my head, when I'm ready, I'm just gonna have you stand where I set my board, and I'll just bring the kite to you. And once you get the kite, just grab it by that big leading edge, which is the main part of the kite. You don't wanna grab it by the bottom of the kite, because then that's gonna pull it and power it up. So just make sure that they understand that as you're landing the kite here, they want to be upwind. They wanna be on the other side of it. They don't wanna be inside of the lines. So just tell them like, I'll be here, you be here and I'll put the kite right in front of you and you just set it down. And just tell them not to do too much with it, just you're gonna land it. And once they have their hands on it, just kind of hold it and you'll be right there to grab it and take it away from them. Because some people will just set the kite down and they don't know, understand the wind. If it's a really windy day, it could just take right back off and then there's a kite with you attached to it or a bar and lines without anyone attached to it going down the beach and that's no good. So just make sure that you give clear instructions to your lander and buy them a beer or something. Thanks for helping you out. So it's always nice to be courteous to the people helping you out. Step number three, always want to land it towards the water because same as launching a kite, if anything goes wrong and let's say you get dragged or pulled, you don't want the kite to take you to shore. I mean, we all do it, I do it as well, landing it towards the beach, um, we get confident and we're like, oh, we got this. But if anything does go wrong, you just gotta be willing to take that risk that that's where it's gonna take you. And kiteboarding can be a safe sport or it could be a dangerous sport, it just depends on how cautious you are. So I recommend for all beginners, intermediate, all people in general, just get in the habit of uh, landing your kite towards the water. And what this means is, let's say you're riding, you stop at the shore here, drop your board right here, the board sit down the beach, and just run over here, set your kite down at the edge of the window, right at where your board is, and it will give you a nice reference point of like the edge of the window, where to land your kite, 
and give your lander a place to stay. So sometimes you see it where um, there's a person on the beach standing there and then they're looking up at the kite. Oh, the kite's coming down. And then they're like running forward, running back, running all around. It's like kind of a funny little thing that looks um, crazy where the person's running around trying to see where the kite is gonna land. Kind of like you throw a ball way up into the air and you're trying to run around and find where it's gonna land. Um, it just can save the hassle of having to do that. I mean, <laughs> You might as well just put your board there and try and make it a goal to land your kite right at your board. Have your lander stand there. It's a trick in itself is smoothly landing a kite, you know? So just practice doing that. And um, yeah, just make sure to always land your kite towards the water. And then that way if it does crash and start powering back up or anything goes wrong with the person landing you, it won't be as consequential as your landing towards shore. Step number four for landing your kite is also very similar to launching your kite and where you need to sheet out. So last week I talked about my friend Mark, who's a foil boarder here in Doha, who taught me about trimming the kite and calling it trimming rather than power and depower because you obviously don't want to land your kite with tons of power. Um, and if you do have your bar pulled in all the way as you're landing your kite, what can happen is once it gets to the edge of the window, the kite can start um, back stalling and going straight downwind of you and then you're gonna have to sheet out and it's gonna shoot up real hard. So make sure that as you're putting your kite down at the edge of the window you have your bar sheeted out but you don't want it to just be falling because if you have it sheeted out all the way and you're just like letting it go to the edge of the window it's just gonna fall. So as it's coming down you can have it sheeted out but you're still pulling in on the bar. You want to keep tension in the line pulling it up. You want it floating out of the sky, but also kind of steered up a little bit so the kite falls down at the edge of the window and goes perfectly into your lander's hands without it going down fast and hard. You'd never want to crash it on your the person helping you land it. Um, so you don't want to have it pulled in steering like... You just think of landing, launching and landing an airplane. If you're launching an airplane, you want it to be very smooth takeoff. If you're landing an airplane, you want it to be come down and be smooth. So if you're coming down and you just crash the beach, that is not good and you would fail flight school. You want to be real smooth and do it with grace. So just remember, you're gonna let off the throttle. You're not gonna be pushing in all the way or pulling in all the way on the bar as you're coming down to land the kite. You want to push out, Still steer it up, but since the bar is out, it's not going to be going up. It'll just keep it from falling out of the sky and just let it slowly and gracefully fall down to the edge of the window into the person landing your hands. So that's how you land a kite. All right, Gui, thanks a lot, man, for requesting these videos from us, and we really enjoyed doing them. Hope it helps you out over there in Brazil. And if you have any more requests, please feel free to ask us and we'll get right on it. And yeah, just everyone who's watching these videos, we really enjoy doing them. So please like, comment, subscribe on them, and we'll keep making more. And until next week, see you guys on the water.